Over the last few days, Big Brother All-Stars, which is the most recent Big Brother to be aired in the United States, has been surrounded by controversy as a result of a group of house guests mocking an autistic house guest behind his back. Now in this video, I'm going to explain why I think these people should be allowed to do that and should not be kicked out of the house and why that is important and what consequences as a result of letting them speak out like this should happen and should be shown on the show. So the reason I think that these people should be allowed to continue playing the game of Big Brother is because that is what the show is about. It's about putting people in a situation reminiscent, reflecting real life, and not having any outside influence to just the group that they're with, and seeing how that group of people deal with consequences of actions deal with each other, deal with dynamics between different groups of people from different sectors of the world or different uh, parts of, of our culture. And these are the things that make Big Brother what Big Brother is. And this is the whole concept of the show. This was a situation that was brought upon by a group of players on the live feed. So not on the show that airs on CBS quite yet. We don't know really what's gonna happen with that. But it happened on the live feeds and it blew up on social media specifically on Twitter. The reason why this is such a big part of Big Brother is because it brings up conversations outside the Big Brother house. And it also shows that no matter where you are, there are consequences to your actions. And so to me, it's important that these people talk about these things openly and un unfiltered because it will show us who they really are. Now, one of the big things that's come out of this already, even though the people inside the house don't know what's going on outside the house, is Nicole Franzel, who has been on, I think this is her third season of Big Brother. She lost her first season. I think she won her second season, and this season isn't over yet, so we don't know. But uh, already, since she was a registered nurse, and as a result of her being on the show, from what I understand, she became like an influencer because she got a lot of big following. She had a podcast or has a podcast, and she gets sponsors through all those things, through all those channels. And... From last time I checked, I think about five sponsors have pulled out of supporting her show, and she has no idea this is happening. So I am curious to see how this plays out, but they are awaiting a huge controversy when they get out of the house that could affect their livelihood forever. Because she's a registered nurse. I saw um, another channel talk about how that, that could jeopardize her nursing license if she is making fun of someone with autism as a nurse. And also, if her sponsors are pulling out of her podcast and her social media channels, that's her in income stream right now. If she doesn't, if she doesn't win this game, she will have to find a way to recover from that. But I just wanted to say that I think these people need to be exposed for who they are, and I think in general, that's why I believe in free speech. I believe in uncensored speech, no matter if you agree with the speech or not, uh, because then you get to kind of decide for yourself who you want to associate with and who you don't want to associate with. If we all just kind of censored ourselves in adjusted to all the, especially right now, the cancel culture or the politically correct uh, talking points or whatever, what, whatever, when you do slip up every once in a while because you're trying to cover your tracks so much, the people who you think are closest to you might all turn their backs on you because they didn't know the real you up until that point. So to me, I like to give the example of people speaking their mind is the equivalent of an animal, I like to think of like frogs or whatever, that are brightly colored, that are trying to tell other things that may be afraid of their toxic nature, that, hey, I'm toxic. So to me, someone speaking their mind is saying like, okay, here's my true colors. Here's who I am. I'm warning you about who I am. If you don't like it, stay away. And so that to me is this example. This is what it is. So in my opinion, they have just as much of a right to say really dumb things, maybe ignorant things, as much as we have the right to criticize them for what, they're, what they say. So that, to me, is the beauty of free speech is it works both ways. You have the right to say something, but also people have the right, even if it's every single person besides you, to criticize that person. And um, I think that is how we progress and how we get to a better place is by being open about what we believe, what we think, and being willing to be corrected or being told that maybe this is why you're wrong and be, being able to accept it and change that. So I hope that is what comes out of this situation, but we will see. So another thing I saw was a recently evicted house guest named Kaser, who has been on, I believe, one other season, maybe two, I'm not sure. Actually two, that's right, because he was on original season way back and then another all-star season and now this all-star season. And he put out a quote 
something to the effect on Twitter that because Ian has autism, we should be protecting him, not mocking him, which I know I'm probably going to hear a few things about this opinion that I have about that specific quote, which I get what he's saying, meaning uh, someone with a, a, something different about them or special about them, um, we shouldn't mock them for that. And I agree with that part. The part I don't necessarily agree with is that we should protect them. And when I when I see the quotes like this, what I what I think in my head is maybe this is a wrong way to interpret it, but is that we should put them in like a bubble and not ever um, have them encounter things that someone without a disability or with some special condition would encounter. Because in my opinion, that is not helping anybody. I think by sheltering anybody too much, it can come back to bite them because at some point, everybody, no matter what your ability is, what your skin color, whatever your gender is, what your job is, what your online presence is like, what your age is, where you're from, what you do, you're going to encounter some indecent human beings that don't really know or care what you're dealing with or what you have or what you do, and they will just be crappy people. So thank you so much for watching this video and taking the time to listen to my side of this story. Now before you do anything else, if you are interested in something along these same lines of people exposing themselves for who they are, make sure to check out my last video where Nancy Pelosi, the Speaker of the House, recently exposed herself for who she really is. And if you want to watch my thoughts on that and some of the controversy and reaction to it from her own constituents, make sure to click here to watch that video. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to my channel right here. And if you want to watch more recent uploads of mine, then you can click right here. Now head to the comment section. If you haven't if you've done all three of those or you don't want to be doing any of those three, make sure to head to the comment section. Let me know what you think of this situation. Uh, do you agree with what I said? Do you disagree? Do you kind of, did it shine a light on a different angle of, of this story? And while you're down there, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. So with that said, thank you so much for joining me today and I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye.